Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to go over how to draw candy corn, but a teddy bear version. So this is gonna be real simple and easy. It's gonna be step-by-step step for beginners. So what I want you to do is grab a marker and a piece of paper. Uh, as far as the paper goes, I'm just using computer paper. So it's very easy. Marker, I'm using something called a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen, big brush. It's my personal favorite big marker, but you can use any marker you want. Don't worry about it. If you do wanna use the exact same one, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You can go check it out on Amazon. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna be using these. These are the very simple Crayola brand markers that you can get everywhere, and I mean everywhere. You get them all over the place. Uh, Target. Anyway, we're gonna be using uh, the orange, not that one. I gotta check that out. Uh, I'm gonna be using the orange and the, you know, candy corn colors, orange and yellow. Ah! Okay, orange and yellow. So we're gonna get started right now. Cool. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pull a large line on the left side. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of round out the top a bit because it's pretty much the shape of candy corn. Pull down over here to the side. And round out this in a similar fashion and round out this in a similar fashion and I want you to pull a line across. If you have issues pulling your lines, uh, practice maybe on a separate piece of paper beforehand to kind of get it up like your control. Uh, what I like to do is circles like clockwise and counterclockwise and I draw lines across the page uh, and that really really helps me out with my um, with my hand control. So uh, that's just a suggestion if you want to do it. Uh, you don't have to of course. And the other thing about this teddy bear thing, uh, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna draw a teddy bear face on this before we even do the colors. So I'm gonna draw a circle right there. Circle right there. I'm gonna draw a very rounded kind of triangle right here, like upside down triangle, very rounded. Gonna fill that in. Now I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a straight line down. And I'm gonna draw a little curve here because I want my teddy bear smiling. I'm gonna go over here to the left. I'm gonna put a teddy bear ear right there. It's a small teddy bear ear. I'm gonna go over here to the right. I'm gonna draw another teddy bear ear. As far as the line art goes, that's good enough for the line art for now. Um, also, this is a good time to say, please subscribe to the channel. Whenever you subscribe, uh, it notifies you of whenever I put a drawing lesson up. I'm gonna put three drawing lessons every single weekday until Halloween. I might even add more. Uh, occasionally I add more until Halloween. And then I'm gonna draw a little bit more afterward. The good thing about subscribing is it will also tell you next year when I start posting again, because next year I always post around the three months around Halloween. And then the rest of the year, I post very sparingly. Uh, the good part is it'll let you know on those spare times I post. And it'll also let you know next August when I really start posting Halloween videos again, uh, like at a, you know, at a high rate. And you can be like, oh, cool. I remember this. Oh, my God. I, you know, I subscribed to this five years ago. Wow. I found it again. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> anyways, there you go. So now let's get into the markers. Uh, to these these Crayola brands, so I just I'm just gonna be using uh, the yellow and the the um, orange. So I'm gonna start with the orange, and the orange is gonna be the middle band. And what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go right above the ears, and I'm gonna draw a line across, more or less, kind of to mark my area. And then down here, I'm also going to go right below the teddy bear, not not butting up against it, but around there. And I'm going to start filling this in. I'm gonna use kind of the side area and I'm gonna be very careful to not touch the black area here. The reason I don't touch the black area is because sometimes you can smear it. Um, and that's definitely happened to me a lot. And you wanna be careful with that. So just, you can rub up against the side of it, but, but try not to be, you know, just try to be aware of it because it, it will probably smear. It. Because it hasn't had that much time to dry. And even if it is dry, it will probably reactivate the wetness of it if you go into it too much. Um, 
and it'll pull that black and you'll start it'll start smearing all weird and as far as like you know what direction to pull you can pull in any direction it doesn't matter as long as it's all kind of moist around the same time and that's really what matters the most in this I'm gonna I'm gonna actually since it's on that middle layer I'm gonna fill in the ears since it's on that middle layer Ooh, well, yeah, I love candy corn, and I mean, I love it. I know everybody hates it, but it's kind of become like a, a hip, like a fashionable thing to hate candy corn, but I love candy corn. I mean, they sell it for a reason, right? Somebody's buying it. That's me. That is me. Uh, all right, let me go around here. Candy corn. Uh, as far as other candies I like, uh... I'm trying to think of like candies that I like. I like Three Musketeers bars the most. That's probably like my favorite candy of all time. I just like the inside of it. I don't eat much candy to be honest. I think it's kind of it can get you kind of fat, but it can kind of like you know get you like you know overweight. If I, if I, can, I can get overweight if I eat too much of it, so I don't want to do that. So I tend to uh, eat like very rarely I eat candy, but Halloween is one of those times. And pull here. And it's weird because you have to be careful around these, the face. That's probably where that's going to be the most. I have to be the most aware. And then outside of that, it's pretty easy. The rest of it. Uh, what candies do you like? I can give you an example of a candy I don't like. Uh, I do not like uh, Reese's Pieces. I'm not a big fan of peanut butter in candy form. I actually really like peanut butter, like on sandwiches and stuff, but for whatever reason, in candy form, I can't stand it. So I do not like Reese's, uh, and I know that's a very, very popular one. All right, that's done. So let's do the bottom layer. The bottom layer is going to be yellow, and that one's a lot easier because we're not going to have a nose in the way of, of uh, stuff we need to do. Let me take that bottom paper out of here. One second. I, I'm starting to like see through the bottom paper. The bottom paper has a little bit of black on there. And uh, obviously yellow is much harder to see. It's kind of wild. As a value, it's kind of just, it just has much less value to it in general. All right, and that's pretty much it. That is a candy corn bear. Uh, I hope you like that. If you did like it, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. If you like these types of tutorials, hit that like button because it helps me out. It helps out the algorithm of the video. And if you really, really want to help, share a video. When you share a video, it brings a lot of cool energy to the channel and, and it's just amazing. And uh, yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Have a great Halloween. Stay spooky and I'll see you tomorrow.